to three. I just want to check. Yeah. Audio. Okay. Three, two, one. Is that loud enough? Okay. Hi, my name is Scott Torrey, and I'm the Director of Product Line Management for Corning's Wireless Division. And I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to walk you through the Corning booth today. Our key message this year is convergence made simple. And what I mean by convergence is providing the ability to unify cellular, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet services all into a common fiber optic infrastructure. And by simple, I mean by using uh, Corning's one wireless platform, uh, which we're going to walk through here uh, in this uh, product display. So I'll start in the head end, where we're introducing a new product called the Integrated Head End Unit, or IHU. This is a four rack unit uh, compact chassis that has modules in it where uh, RF signals are being brought in and converted to optical signals that are then routed through the DAS. It's a modular design that allows you to add modules as needed as you add services or additional antennas. And it provides benefits in terms of uh, saving cost, space, and energy consumption um, for end users. Okay, we're also showing that in this convergence example that Ethernet and Wi-Fi services can be provided by um, a passive optical network, or uh, and in this case, in the head end, you have an optical line terminal, or OLT. This OLT uh, can be hooked up to provide voice, video, and data services, such as wireless access points, point of sale transactions, um, security cameras, things of that nature. You can provide up to 8,000 ports uh, to be used throughout a venue, which is typically more than enough to supply the needs of a building. And the advantage of the one platform is that both the cellular and the uh, Ethernet services can be routed over a single fiber infrastructure. Okay. From there, what ends up happening is that cellular will be routed through an intermediate point and ultimately to a remote access unit. This remote access unit would be located um, typically a wall mount or ceiling mount. Um, it has an internal antenna and can support external antennas as well. Has all U.S. Uh, or I'm sorry, all U.S. cellular bands. Uh, comes preloaded with four, and you can extend up to six bands with an optional uh, extender unit for MIMO services. And finally, for the uh, cellular and Wi-Fi over Ethernet, um, it would come to this uh, closet connector housing, or CCH. Two main purposes here are that fibers would come in and go into uh, passive optical splitters closer to the end user to save on the number of fibers being routed in a, a riser application. These splitters have a variety of uh, split ratios, basically take the incoming optical signal and split them into um, a multiple paths. Typical split ratios would be 1 by 16, 1 by 32, or even up to 1 by 64, depending on the needs of the end user. And from here, these signals can be routed over common fiber infrastructure out to the uh, end ports um, of the location. So this is the cellular, um, I'm sorry, this is the convergence story we're talking about today. And then we have one other product that we're um, introducing at the show. And this goes with our uh, legacy platform, and this is the Mobile 2000 um, HX neutral host remote. So it adds a um, fifth band so that it's neutral host ready. Um, it's a two watt medium power remote and it's ideal for medium to large size venues such as stadiums, uh, convention centers, or other public venues. Um, so between the uh, convergence made simple and the HX remote, um, that's what we're showing at this year's show. And again, I thank you for uh, the opportunity to walk you through the booth.